Creek Ranch down there at New Ulm. And uh, I, I think they're a nice little set of heifers. All, all 13 are, are good heifers. And uh, yeah, we can show you some. And, uh, and the, uh, the 1120 heifer, I want to mention her. She's in group five. Uh, when we gathered these heifers together, uh, she was not amongst them. And uh, she did get some exposure out in the pasture. Uh, so I have no idea whether she's settled or, or not. We'll do whatever you want to on her. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll either uh, uh, give her a shot of little A's or whatever you want us to do. Or if you want to let her go full term, she's probably going to calve around mid-July, mid I would think. So, uh, uh, and, and she'll be plenty old to have that calf, and uh, I think she'll be just fine. It's just whatever you want to do. We'll, we'll work it out with you. Thank you. All right. Choice once, and then... You, you buy the balance of them, okay? And you can take them all right off the bat. That's what a lot of folks do. Hard to pick in front of this crowd. Group number five, we're going to offer five open heifers. Here we go. All right, I'm registered cattle. I am but a bit fun. 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 I am but a It'll be eleven fifty, sir. I can put a pump and a bear and a limit of them fifty dollars on it. So I'm telling you, eleven hundred. You want them all, don't you? What's the buyer number? And he takes twenty-seven and thirty-one. Okay. All right. Now we will offer one third or eleven thirteen, eleven twenty, and eleven thirty-four. Here we go. All right, how many dollars here? Down, better than eight, down nine, now one thousand dollars. I can get better than ten, pair, better than thousand dollars on it. You're gonna be a thousand. I'm better than ten, better than pair, better than thousand dollars on it. You're gonna be a thousand dollars on it. I can get better than thousand, pair, better than eleven. Three head, yes sir. Thousand dollars. I can get better than ten, pair, down nine fifties here, down one. I can get better than better than pair, better than thousand dollars on it. You're gonna be a thousand. I can get better than ten, pair, better than thousand dollars now half. I can get better than ten fifty, thousand fifty. Here we go, damn, better than pair, better than ten fifty. So I'm telling you, thousand dollars on them, one thousand two eighty-five at a thousand dollars. All right, got three head, thirteen twenty and thirty-four. Now let's move to group six. Group six, only two more sets of these good open heifers left. Here we go, all registered cattle and open. Here we go. Nine hundred. Now down fifty. Now one thousand dollars on them. Ten. Eleven. It's gonna be eleven, sir. I'm paired down, but eleven hundred dollars on them. Eleven hundred. I'm gonna put them, but eleven. Ten fifty. Eleven hundred. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Quickly. Eleven fifty. Now twelve hundred. Twelve and a half. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen half. Fourteen. Now half. I'm gonna put them fourteen half. Well, ten fifty. Boom. Sold them to you. Fourteen hundred. You want them all, don't you? All right. And that was 1400 Yeah, good job. Buyer number, 288 All right, now on the balance of the, the balance of the cattle, which is three head, 90, 1105, and 1108. 800, 900, now 1,000, 1,000, 1,100, 1,050. 1,050. 1,050. 1,050 on them. So I'm tell you, thousand dollars on him, one thousand, two eighty-five. You got ten ninety, eleven oh five, and eleven oh eight at a thousand dollars. Mark them worth the money. Now we've got three heifers we're going to offer you. So much per head, and all three to go. And these will be the last cattle offered today. Here we go. All right, how many dollars here? Open. Registered heifers. Paying about eight hundred. Now nine. Now one. One thousand. Ten half. I am but a thousand fifty. I am but a pump and a bear and a ten fifty. Thousand fifty. I am but a pump and a bear and a ten fifty on him. Here we go. I am but a pump and a bear and a thousand fifty on him. A thousand fifty. A thousand fifty. All in. All done. What do you say? Thousand fifty on him. So I'm taking thousand dollars on him. One thousand. Two eighty five. 
You have been watching an Encore Presentation Auction Replay. If you have any questions, if you would like to sell or buy cattle through Superior, or if you would like to schedule a broadcast auction for your production sale, please contact Superior Livestock at 800-422-2117. Thanks for watching. Register your load lot cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday. Putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Call or click SuperiorLivestock.com to learn more. Out here, a little time on a good horse is the best way to clear your mind. This is SLA TV. Coming up. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. They've really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. Hear the story of how Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. In 1987, visionary cattlemen Jim Odell and Buddy Jeffers launched Superior Livestock Auction and forever changed the way cattle are marketed. Over three decades later, Superior is North America's leader in cattle marketing. Innovation is at the heart of the Superior story, but relationships drive it. And as a generation at Superior continues to move the business forward, the next generation is already raising the leadership bar higher. When Superior started, they came to the industry with a new, a new toy. And it was, this, it was this new technology, and they were cutting edge, and I think everybody knew it would work. It was just whether it was, is this gonna be the new way, or is this gonna be a gimmick? We've been working with these guys 40 years. From when they first started, I met them in Brush, and they had this idea, it became superior. It was December 15th of 1982. I had my own production studio in Amarillo, doing mainly TV production, industrial presentations, and a good friend of mine walked into my office uh, with uh, Buddy Jeffers and John Templer, who owned Amarillo Livestock. And they were looking at putting a video auction together. And they had a videotape from uh, a man that would sh shot the video from Channel 7, and they were gonna look at it on, on my TV monitors to see if they could tell enough of the cattle where they could sell it. And so they looked at it and they said, you know what, I think this will work. Jim Odell came right here and they were just starting Superior, him and Buddy Jeffers. And we had a meeting right here in this big house. And we signed up, that was the first year we'd sold them on Superior, I think. I think 32 years we've been selling them. What the video allowed was to open up to a market, a nationwide market, where you had several people bidding on your cattle, rather than just taking them to the sale barn or getting that one bid from that one or maybe two order buyers. We achieve true price discovery because it's a competitive format. There's bidders from all over the country bidding on your cattle, and it's not just one person saying, hey, I'll offer you this, or this is my best offer. It's people competing against each other. I like to think of it as, I'm gonna take my cattle to the market and I'm gonna let these people argue how much they're gonna pay me for it. And you can actually get what the market is, what is fair value at this location, at this exact point in time. It's price discovery at its best. I know what a Florida cow and Louisiana cow is worth today when we got through because I just saw 107 loads of Florida cattle and 120 loads of Louisiana cattle sale, so I know what one's worth. Uh, another feature of, of what I like so much about Superior, you know, it, in so many transactions, uh, there's one party that wins and one party that gets shorted. And I've, I've always been a believer that for it to work long term, that everyone has to win. And we see buyers getting what they want. Sellers are happy, buyers are happy, and really everyone wins. The goal of the auction is to sell the cattle to the highest bidder who will make the best use of the cattle, which maximizes the value for both buyer and seller. Superior has the responsibility for the seller 
but also after there's the cattle are sold at auction to the buyer too to make sure that those cattle fit the contract and how we sold them at the auction. Superior always contacts you uh, uh, a day after delivery to make sure you've got the cattle. If there's anything wrong, uh, and we have had, as I say, in the past, some deals that weren't quite what they were to be, we were always satisfactorily taken care of. Uh, they stand behind their project and what they do. Twenty thirteen, uh, we were on the market. There were several companies looking to purchase Superior. We were very fortunate to have National Livestock Credit Corp buy Superior. In the past, there's always been one or two owners, and that's not the case anymore. We actually put together a group of owners. So now there's actually an investment partnership that we have multiple owners. So it's a, it's a company that owns Superior now with multiple owners that put money into it. One of the really nice things about uh, the national team that, that was brought in in 2013 is, is a staff of professionals that take some of the pressure off of uh, the accounting functions, the legal functions. Uh, some of the the day-to-day -day, uh, corporate side of things uh, to allow the uh, dedicated professionals at Superior put that focus back on what they need to be doing rather than taking care of the details. National's leadership in the cattle industry is cutting edge. They gave us the resources that we needed to stay competitive in the future and stay ahead of our competitors. The credit corporation actually is a very unique kind of company that got set up back in the 30s. You don't see them very very often anymore. Our motto is for ranchers by ranchers because almost every single one of our loan officers run cattle at home. The idea of taking a company that's been around for 90 years now and stacking Superior on top of that gives it a great foundation of we have consistency, we have proven consistency over 90 years. Superior's been around for 30 now. It's going to continue to move and grow. The other thing to tell a producer is sometimes bids and buyers overreach and the market changes and being able to rely on, in, on that contract is important because there, there's other entities that might not be able to honor a large contract. One of the things that's really important to consigners, and we hear it year in and year out, is knowing that they're getting a good check. We are very pleased to add another level of security in that to our already time-tested and proven method. The superior name has such a reputation for the money always being there. And so we still really strive to make sure that that's going to be the case. Above all, the money is good, and the money is in, the, in those consigners' hands the second the cattle's picked up. Up next. They really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We'll take a closer look at the innovation that helped make Superior the leader in livestock marketing. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Superior VAC protocols and value-added programs build confidence with cattle buyers. Superior's vaccination protocols are the benchmark for America's beef industry. Those along with Superior Progressive Genetics, third-party verified Superior Source and Age, Verified Natural, NHTC, GAP, Beef Care, and other Superior value-added programs give buyers the confidence to pay premiums for quality load lock cattle you sell on Superior. Call or go online to find out more. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Over the past three decades, Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed, and their innovations have helped to improve not only their customers' bottom line, they've advanced the entire beef cattle industry. One of the things that we're committed to here at Superior Livestock is, uh, is serving our core base of our business in the best way possible. And that core base uh, of what we do is, is selling calves and feeder cattle. However, in doing that, we are involved in a lot of things that contribute to each other. Here at Superior Livestock, we talk about full circle marketing, and it really relates to the fact that we tie all the different facets of the industry together, from the commercial cattlemen to the seed stock producers to the industry partner, all working for one common goal. And to use Superior Livestock, you know, a company that's got a vast number of buyers, 
nationwide, whether it's a stalker operator in the Central Valley of California or you know, a farmer feeder outside of you know, Council Bluffs, Iowa, or a feedlot in Nebraska. It's unbelievable the resources that that company has put together. They're so well integrated in the, in the industry, whether it be the, the American rancher or the purebred that the work that gets done at Spirit Productions with Joe Lichty and Jason Barber. And Superior Livestock's always offered cattle that have good genetics behind them. But I believe that Superior's resources and investment in resources on the purebred side has really bolstered that. The ability that it's given us to identify those cattle when they sell and the genetics and where they've bought the bulls, I think has really tied the industries together full circle. If the cattle have good genetics, they end up performing year after year, and that's kind of what makes our buyers come back. We started the summer auction events in the summer of 1989. Uh, the first year we went to Breckenridge, and uh, it was a customer appreciation event and rep training, and that's all it was. And uh, Jim Odell at the time, you know, he said, we're gonna do this again next year, but we better have an auction to help pay for all this stuff. Really it was the beginning of, of, of what became the summer video sales. Weekend in the Rockies, which became Week in the Rockies, and then we started adding, you know, Winnemucca was the next one, uh, Video Royale, and then, uh, Bighorn and Sheridan, Wyoming. I mean, we moved around Wyoming a few times, uh, Casper and some other places, but we landed in Sheridan. We sell the majority of the, the calves on, on those big auctions. 750,000 calves will, will go to auction at that time. It's a great time to do it. We can um, get together with our customers and, and, and the buyers that come. Those summer sales are just nobody can compete with them. The amount of buyers base that they have for that. Well, at the sales, there's a certain camaraderie amongst the reps, but uh, the fun is seeing the ranchers, and it's really fun when the buyers show up, and then you can, the buyers can meet the ranchers, and everybody finds out what the other guy is doing. You know, one rancher watches what his neighbor does, and, and it just, it, they build on each other, and they can see how that maybe they can make add value to their cattle by doing what the neighbor's doing. Everybody's familiar with the, the Superior video auction that happens every two weeks and then the big summer sales. So uh, what, what a lot of people don't know is there's an auction every Thursday and it's on Dish Network. It's on click to bid broadcast on the internet, uh, along with a lot of production sales. We own a company called LiveAuctions.tv and a lot of purebred cattle are sold through that. If the live auction is, is not for you, the country page is a great way to sell cattle. Uh, you could list them and, and people bid on them until they negotiate a price that everybody's happy with. And then if, if that doesn't work, if you just want to say, hey, I want to sell my cattle today, and you call your rep and he says, hey, I got a buyer for them, we'll do a private treaty deal. Our job is to merchandise cattle. Commodity cattle, if they're uh, calves right off the cow, if they're program cattle, there are multiple buyers for each of those sales. We talk a lot about program cattle. Okay, you know, the NHTC, Verified Natural, GAP program. The VAC programs were the first of the value-added programs. Uh, so VAC 24, VAC 34, VAC 45, uh, VAC Precon. What that did was it established a, a way for for us to tell the buyers that the cattle would be healthy when they received them. You know, these other programs have come along because there was a need for them. So Asian Source, we need a third party verification to, to show these cattle were not over 30 months of age, or we could not export them to uh, Japan or anywhere else because they required it. So what Superior did was just recognize what the ranchers were doing and what the market needed, what the market was asking us to do. And so what we did was we, we analyzed the data after the year, we'd have you know a group analyze the data and say, okay, these are the programs that create value. I think it makes more difference to the buyers. If, if they know the cattle are handled correctly, the shots are done correctly, the weaning's done correctly, the shipping's done in, in an orderly fashion, you know, they take care of the calves, that's a big deal. The one thing that, that the video market in Superior has done is they've, they've really changed 
not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. Superiors has evolved the protocol to where it's a whole different deal. Live from Superior Livestock Auction, it's another Superior Sunrise. Superior Sunrise is another great marketing tool we have here at Superior Livestock. It's our 30-minute live television show that airs prior to each one of our commercial auctions. It's an opportunity to talk about the market, preview what we have on the auction, visit with our industry partners, our Superior Livestock representatives, and also highlight our producers. It's a great way to start each auction. We have American Rancher that actually goes out and highlights, not just says, hey, yeah, Superior sells cattle, but hey, look at this ranch. I love the stories where it's, you know, grandma and grandpa scraped together and barely made the farm, and now they've turned this into a huge operation that they can set up the next three or four generations of people to run the cattle in that family. At any cell barn, you're limited to the number of people that you could cram into that little bitty building. And that's the way it was originally. And so what Superior was actually letting this these markets do is it doesn't matter how big your room is, it matters who has access. Instead of how many people can you fit in this 200 people cell barn, and that would be a big one even at that, it's how many people have the internet because that's how many people can watch the sale. Anybody who has the internet is now sitting in our cell barn. Part of leadership is not being satisfied with where you're at. We're developing new things to, to make sure we're on the cutting edge. We're trying to cut out all the unnecessary steps to, to become a better company and to get your uh, cattle to market faster. Technology is going to change. Uh, we, we've seen it already. We went from the big satellite dishes and big camera, TV cameras to using iPhones and internet. And we're writing software right now that that uh, streamlines the contract entry so we don't have to fax. In the past, our reps would, and it, they would turn in a contract and they wouldn't have any access to that contract until uh, their proofs came out, which would be a couple days after the deadline. Uh, now they've got the ability to go in, manage their own consignments anytime they want, request changes to those consignments during off business hours, so in the evenings, at night, early in the morning. They don't have to wait for us to be in the office to get assistance. What's the most useful part is at this catalog is a really uh, good example of what the proof, is, what it looks like in the printed catalog with all the icons. And the extra benefit we added here uh, at the bottom is really for the reps is to show any affidavits or certificates that are missing. One of the advances that we've made recently was in 2020, we moved into a new building here in uh, Hudson Oaks, Texas, and we move from the stockyards uh, in Fort Worth out to this building custom made for what we do. It's a big part of the future and how we're gonna serve our customers, our reps. We have recently uh, added a, a new Western presence with an uh, office in Boise, Idaho to even better service our reps and our customers in the West. Any way we can bring buyers and sellers together as part of the price discovery process. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. So you string all these things together and then you bring in some of the leadership that we've gotten from National and, the, and just the experience of the industry and you put all these things together. There's not another company that has what we have. After the break. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. Innovation takes a back seat only to the most important element of superior livestock. That story is next on The American Rancher. In the fabric of America, they are the toughest threads. One of the first things they learned was the code that every service member lives by. Leave no one behind. Now all of us need to live by it too, because some veterans are being left behind. Twenty of them take their own lives every day. Learn how to be there for a veteran at BeThereForVeterans.com. Honor the code. Be there. Leave no one behind. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Superior Livestock Auctions leadership in cattle marketing has changed the industry. And while innovation is at the heart of the Superior story, nothing is more important than trust and close relationships. It's a people business where we're selling cattle from people to people, enhanced with technology, kind of like salt and pepper on a steak. 
The key to success that we've talked about is the public auction and bringing the buyer base and price discovery, uh, a nationwide buyer base to your cattle. But uh, the, the other part of the key to that success is that we're local and we are as local as your local rep, which is right down the road from you. Most of my customers are within 150 miles of where I work and live, and a lot of these people are people that I help, you know, throughout the year, brand their calves and wean their calves. And so, you know, I'm essentially working for, for my neighbors and my friends and family. You build these relationships with your customers. It's more than just uh, selling their cattle for them. Uh, you're working for their yearly income in most cases. It's very humbling at that time that you realize how much work they've put into those cattle. You know, they're out there in those March blizzards pulling those calves and saving them, uh, doctoring those little babies. Uh, you know, it's just what it is that's, you know, they work really, really hard for a straight year and then they put them on Superior and what they get is, you know, going to affect how they live the rest of the year. You get to really think about the folks on the other end that are getting cattle and both of them are making their living at the cattle business. And what you do affects them and it kind of makes you want to go out and kind of do the best job you can. Well, I think you definitely uh, gain a personal relationship with your customers. You know most of your customers become your friends, um, but it puts them on such a national scale with so many registered buyers that Superior has. The, the people that I've met, uh, the ranchers and their families and the buyers that I've met, they become your friends. Truly, truly friends. And then Superior, they talk about the Superior family and that's what they've been to us. We feel blessed to be part of that family. I'm surrounded by, by reps that are really passionate about improving the bottom line for their customers. And they do a stand-up job. And there's a lot of honor involved. There's a lot of integrity. And I really don't know too many other industries in the United States of America or the world, that matter, that upholds that much integrity. When you shake somebody's hand, it doesn't matter if it's a $10,000 transaction or a, a million-dollar transaction. They're going to do exactly what they say they're gonna do. With the success of Superior Livestock Auction over the past three decades comes the reality that a new generation will someday take the reins. Just like the ranching families they serve, Superior has been planning that for years and the future is in good hands. There's tons of young, younger people coming up, um, reps, employees. It's just cool to see see the growth of it. It has really shown me just what generation after generation can improve on. I feel very, very fortunate uh, that, that I'd pick Superior to work with. I was surrounded by great reps, veterans in our marketing industry that had got on board at the inception of it. I think the future of Superior is really bright. One thing that was definitely put at rest when National purchased Superior is that it won't be sold again. Uh, it's owned by a group of cattlemen and a lot of reps are also investors in our company. So uh, the same people that are out here selling, selling cattle for our customers are the ones that have a share in some equity in this company. Superior is a team, you know, it starts with the representatives out in the field and it's the people in the office here, in the office in Oklahoma City, in Brush, in Boise, that all work together. And there's a lot of, a lot of things behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. Uh, the video editors, uh, the software developers, the IT director, Kevin, and systems administrator Chance, and, and they go out on the road during the summer and they put everything together. The auction crew, uh, you know, the auctioneers. We all work together for one goal, and that's to sell the cattle for as high as we can. To take care of that rancher, it's his only paycheck for the year. You know, the foundation of trust that's been built, we're continually working on. And the next generation of the Superior Livestock family is going to continue to innovate and uh, be, be a part of the cutting edge of how livestock get marketed. So uh, as, as you have trusted us in the past to build the foundation and the relationship that we have, we certainly hope that you'll trust us in the future to, to continue that innovation. If you're not a part of the Superior family yet, please give us a call. At Superior, we truly are a nationwide market, from border to border and from coast to coast. But you know what? At Superior Livestock, we're not out to market all the cattle in North America, just yours. We hope you enjoyed the look back and ahead here at Superior Livestock Auction. 
That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for our entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Register your load lot cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday. Putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Call or click superiorlivestock.com to learn more. You're watching SLA TV. I'm really proud of uh, of of the the way that our people take care of uh, our land, take care of our cattle. When somebody drives in here, we want them to know that we care. We, we, we care about the land, we care about the livestock, we care about the people. Well, I believe that, that if you're going to do anything, you try and be the best at what you're doing. I grew up on a dairy farm and my cousin hired me when I was 14 years old. And uh, he, uh, he gave me a job whenever I was not in school. I worked for him from the time I was 14 until I was 25. Uh, he helped put me through college and I tried to buy his ranch. And uh, he said, well, come back in two years and I'll sell you the ranch, but you can go to Seattle and get you a job. So I went to Seattle and got with this wonderful personnel company and they transferred me to Oklahoma when I was 29. So I decided that because he wouldn't sell me his ranch, that I was determined I was gonna have some cows. So I, I bought 20 acres and got some uh, registered Angus cattle. And that started the, the whole uh, domino effect. I then uh, bought some more cattle, didn't have enough land, and I bought some more land. I didn't have enough cattle. It's been going that way for the last uh, 35, 40 years. Bob's a people person. He's a, he's an optimist. Uh, uh, Bob's a risk taker. Uh, he, he's very enjoyable, very dynamic in terms of his personality. Uh, he really wants to see people succeed. And if you're an employee or you work with Bob, uh, he, he's the guy, uh, the glass is half full. He looks for the good things in people. He looks for the good things in the operation. He loves the cattle business. And I also think Bob really loves owning the land and he likes to, to make improvements to it. He likes to see the grass uh, be improved. He likes good fences, good facilities. He's always willing to, to try new things and he's, uh, he's very much about the next calf crop and what can we do to make it better. And so that's always exciting when you work for somebody that's positive, that uh, wants to do better, he wants to have the best. Uh, he knows that's something that's hard to achieve, but he enjoys working toward that. Well, my drive factor came from my, uh, my younger years. No matter what, I go playing ball. I played basketball for the University of Edinburgh, and, and I played number one tennis at uh, high school and college. I was not the best athlete but I just had the drive factor that I was gonna be the very best at whatever I did. And so when you get into the cattle business, I wanted to do the same thing. I wanted to be the very best. And the reason for that is we wanna try and help others to be the best as well. So if we can uh, provide the genetics that will help them to be better and help them to be the best, we're delighted to do so. Ranch Foreman and Country Living. This is SLA TV.
This is SLA TV, television for the beef cattle industry. The Superior Country Page is the leading online marketplace for buying and selling load lots of calves, feeders, and breeding stock. The Country Page is an efficient, easy to use, and low cost solution for selling cattle. You set the price and move at your pace with flexible delivery options. The Country Page matches the best buyers to the best sellers at the best price for both parties. Call or log on today to find out more about the Superior Country Page. The cattle business is what we do, it's all we wanted to do. Cattle businesses made everything that we've got today, one way or the other. This ranch has been in our family for 100 years and more, and uh, you know, we, we kind of feel like it's part of our family too. It is truly a family deal from, from, from my family all the way up to the Superior family, and even our customers. It's important to us to be able to raise my kids here on a ranch. I couldn't imagine a, b a better place to raise a family. I love the lifestyle. It makes for a pretty great life. It was a really fabulous way to, to grow up. Summers in the mountains around Central Oregon. Learning the cow-calf business every day, horseback. I started out when I was 12 years old. Five dollars a day in room and board. An old man, his name was J.D. Rudd. He, he told me, some, he said, you can work for me, sons, and here's the guidelines. He said, when I send you after a tool or a wrench or whatever, he said, I want you spinning when you take off and slide when you come back. I know this might sound kind of braggish, but yeah, I'm real proud of the fact that Dad and I have sold over a million head of cattle on Superior. It's been a lot of work, and it just didn't happen overnight. So. You know, the buyers, they trust us. The sellers, they trust us. And they're trusting you to expose and market their cattle to the largest buyer base. And what they get is you know, going to affect how they live the rest of the year. In this business, if you're going to survive and you're going to be here for generations, you, you got to treat people right. The livestock industry is one of the last businesses that are, I mean, it's a handshake or over the phone, and it's a done deal. I really don't know too many other industries in the United States of America, or the world that matter, that upholds that much integrity. You shake somebody's hand, it doesn't matter if it's a $10,000 transaction or a, a million dollar transaction, they're gonna do exactly what they say they're gonna do. I feel very, very fortunate uh, that, that I'd picked Superior to work with 17 years ago. I couldn't be prouder of the contemporary group that I get to work with. The relationships that you can't imagine. Anybody in this whole organization, you could pick up the phone and call them, and they would back you. And they would do whatever to fix or help you with a problem. And yeah, you, there's not many organizations out there that we work with that are like that. You know, no man left behind. I guarantee you there's no man left behind if you are a superior rep in this family. Superior VAC protocols and value-added programs build confidence with cattle buyers. Superior's vaccination protocols are the benchmark for America's beef industry. Those along with Superior Progressive Genetics, third-party verified Superior Source and Age, Verified Natural, NHTC, GAP, Beef Care, and other Superior value-added programs give buyers the confidence to pay premiums for quality load lock cattle you sell on Superior. Call or go online to find out more. Register your load lot cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday. Putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Call or click superiorlivestock.com to learn more. Established in 1987, Superior Livestock Auction is now the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Weekly video auctions called by world champion auctioneers, along with Superior's online click-to-bid, puts thousands of qualified buyers in front of your production or commercial cattle. My grandfather used to put them on a stock car and go to Sioux City, Iowa. Now we have it worldwide web. You can watch it on the internet or TV. That 
slings our loop out a whole lot further than just uh, Texas. Our cattle get a little further away than just Central Oregon or this Northern California country. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. They open up a whole new world of buyers that can look at your cattle. That network of people is so huge that creates a perfect venue. Different people buying them uh, got competitive deals, kind of tough to beat. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. Seems like Superior is always kind of the trendsetter. Year after year, producers across the nation trust their bottom line to Superior Livestock Auction. We were very skeptical to begin with, but it's worked out great for us. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. No matter the location of your operation, Superior Livestock Auction can move your cattle for top dollar. To go through Superior, we were able to go back east with the cattle, where before we didn't have that option. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. That's why we've been doing it for 20 years. We've had really good experience with them, I guess, after 28 years. If we hadn't, we wouldn't be with them yet. We're building relationships you can build your business on. Call or go online to learn more about marketing your cattle the Superior way. hills, lush grass prairies, a cottonwood or two every few miles, and these are down in the draws where a creek might run when it rains. The view from horizon to horizon is unbroken. This is a panorama that hasn't changed in centuries. This is the Great Plains, and these are the Flint Hills, the place where the creator spent a little extra time to design cow country, to make a heaven on earth for the bovine species. This is also a battleground. It is littered with the ghosts of brave warriors, both man and animal, that have fallen here over the centuries. And it stands ready for more. The sounds of battle this time are somewhat muted compared to the other wars that have been fought here. However, the reason for the conflict is the same as when Indian tribe fought Indian tribe, and when Indian tribes fought white men for control of the land. One thing has changed over time, the types of weapons used. Once it was bows and arrows and spears, then rifles and cannons. Today, the weaponry is no less lethal, the law, the courts, and the legislative process. There is, however, one certainty that will result from the current battle over who will own this land and how it will be used. In the end, the defeated will be doomed to extinction. The conquerors will become the defenders, and the cycle will repeat itself. If only we would listen, the past would teach us about tomorrow, about the outcome of the current war over land use and land ownership. And what would history tell us about the future of prairies like this, and that of the forests in the Northwest, and the mountain and desert country of the West? There are no better subjects in history to learn from than the Native American and his sacred buffalo. As near as anyone can tell, this is where the ruminant animal has thrived for more than 100,000 years. 
During most of that time, the buffalo was king and reigned over a million square mile kingdom of prairie. The camel and saber-toothed tiger originated out here and ran around with the buffalo for a while until they decided to cross a momentary land bridge to find homes elsewhere on other continents. But the buffalo liked it here, and it stayed as long as it could. So did the Plains Indian. This was his land, too. By agreement, each tribe had its own designated hunting grounds. The buffalo that roamed within a particular hunting ground belonged to the tribe that held verbal title to the area. The Plains Indian existence was totally and completely dependent upon the buffalo. It was not only the primary source of food, it also provided clothing, shelter, medicines, tools, weapons, fuel, and much, much more. The buffalo roamed at will over these prairies and great herds. One early day traveler through here noted that his journey was delayed at one point for five days while one great continuous herd moved across his trail. He estimated that there were more than four million head of buffalo in the herd. Their awkward and cumbersome physical appearance belied their actual strength, speed, agility, and endurance. They were a match for any horse, able to run at speeds of 35 to 40 miles an hour from a standstill. And no single horse could ever match their endurance. A National Museum curator noted in 1902 that he needed a relay of several horses over a distance of 25 miles before capturing a single buffalo cow. Of course, there have been numerous notations in history recording living through the experience of the legendary buffalo stampede. The sound of their hooves created a continuous roar well before their arrival and well after their departure. And the ground shook as a thousand buffalo ran in panic flight from some unseen foe, destroying anything and everything in their path. At their peak, it is estimated that there were over 35 million head of buffalo. Between natural events and Indian hunting, the buffalo population was kept in check and in balance with the environment. Similarly, between natural events and the movement of buffalo herds, the prairies were cultivated. And when an imbalance between land and buffalo occurred, the human population was kept in check. All in all, it was a fairly efficient system that allowed the Native American, the buffalo, and the prairie to thrive and prosper. An ecosystem with all the parts in total harmony is probably the modern day phrase to describe the phenomena where the buffalo thrived on the land, the Indian thrived on the buffalo, and the land thrived from the activity of both. Hundreds of years would pass before the white man would truly appreciate and try to emulate these consummate managers of the prairie. During all of this harmonious activity, an evolutionary event was taking place on the eastern extremities of the continent. America was being discovered again. It had been discovered several times before. For example, Coronado coming up through Mexico had roamed these prairies searching for the golden city of Quivira. However, in 1607, America was discovered in a fairly permanent way with the settlement of Jamestown. It took a couple of hundred years for civilization to evolve to the point where people on the eastern seaboard began to feel crowded. In fact, it was almost exactly 200 years later, 1806, that Lieutenant Zebulon Pike was sent out with an army detachment to explore the prairie country. Pike's expedition came two years after Lewis and Clark passed through here on their way west. Pike wrote in his journal that the high prairies afforded excellent pasturage for millions of bison, but he did not believe these prairies were of any value for human habitation. He suggested that the plains' chief asset would be to provide a barrier against settlement of the mountain regions, which did not appear to be of any value either. In time, the plains would be considered an obstacle, an inconvenience to be endured in traveling to Santa Fe in the southwest, or the Oregon country in the northwest. The country itself would prove to be a minor inconvenience in comparison to dealing with the Indians and enormous herds of buffalo. Even Horace Greeley's first reaction to the great American desert was disparaging. But then later he wrote, go west, young man, go west. And they did for the next hundred years or so. Easterners went west by the tens of thousands. The highways they followed were first cut in part by the Buffalo, the Santa Fe Trail, the Oregon Trail, and the Colorado Trail. 
By 1825, the trading business over the Santa Fe Trail had become so large and profitable that the government sent out a commission to negotiate a treaty with the Osage Indians to allow a safe passage of travelers on the trail. The cost to the federal government for the concession was $800 in cash and merchandise. The cost to the Plains Indian and his buffalo in time would prove to be exorbitant. The Santa Fe Trail Agreement was the first of two treaties that would make a reservation out of Kansas. Its eastern boundary was the Missouri River and extended west indefinitely. The Indians insisted that the treaties guarantee that they would hold their new land as long as the grass should grow and the water should run. The grass grew and the water ran, but in 1854 the Kansas Territory was formed and the government began to extinguish Indian titles to Kansas lands and began moving the tribes south to a newly formed Indian Territory, Oklahoma. The individual's only recourse to stay on his native land was to declare citizenship and be granted an allotment as any other homesteader, as allowed under the Kansas-Nebraska Bill. The Indian had been a nomad for centuries, and homesteading was not a desirable way of life, so they moved over time to the new land farther south. The majority did not move voluntarily, and their insistence on protecting their sacred buffalo made westward expansion difficult but migration did continue at a rapid rate. It is estimated that more than 350,000 immigrants crossed the Missouri River on the ferries at St. Joseph alone during the westward expansion. There were literally hundreds of other river crossings with equal activity from 1860 to 1880. The buffalo served as the primary food source for all on their months long travel west. The railroad crews and cavalries lived off these animals. Of course, all the while, there was a tremendous trade in buffalo hides and buffalo robes. The demand in the East seemed insatiable. This intrigue also made buffalo hunting a tremendous sport. They were slaughtered by the tens of thousands by sportsmen shooting from the windows of rail cars which passed through the herds on the prairies and months-long hunting expeditions by the rich and famous. The Indians fought to protect their way of life, but they had a formidable foe. Generals Philip Sheridan and William Tecumseh Sherman of Civil War fame and in charge of the Indian Fighting Army determined that the only way to keep the Indian at home on the reservation was to destroy the buffalo. Army Colonel Richard Irving Dodge, commander at North Platte in 1867 said, kill every buffalo you can. Every buffalo gone is an Indian gone. An observer of the time, Frank Mayer, noted the government was privy to the slaughter of the buffalo. A man could get all the government ammunition he wanted for nothing, provided he could show he was going to use it on buffalo. By the early to mid 1880s, the buffalo were indeed gone. A few small herds roamed for a few years afterwards, but the once thriving buffalo and the industry he created was dead. The Indian was starved into submission and the Western immigration continued unimpeded. The settlement of the West became fact as the white man traveled freely across the plains. A few travelers found these hills to their liking and stayed as squatters, homesteaders, sodbusters, and ranchers. The legendary trail drives came through these prairies from the south on the Chisholm, Goodnight, and Loving trails. This happened at about the same time that the railroads replaced wagon travel over the Santa Fe, Oregon, and Colorado trails. The extinction of the buffalo and its industry allowed the evolution of what was to replace it, the cattle industry. The transition was remarkably easy, almost natural, because what made these prairies the preferred home of the buffalo also made it a paradise for beef cattle. One area of Kansas in particular, the Blue Stem Hills, or Flint Hills, exemplifies the story. They comprise about four million acres which stretch in a belt across the state, varying in width from 30 to 60 miles. Early settlers thought the hills to be a wasteland and staked claims in the valleys. Being from the east, they were not comfortable unless surrounded by timber and forests. The view offered them from the plains was only indigenous prairie grass, buffalo grass. Their opinion of its potential was rather poor. The cattlemen, on the other hand, evaluated the situation differently. The reputation of the area today is that it is the most extensive and efficient cattle producing area in the country. The early visitors could not know that this short grass country was destined to play a major role in feeding not only a rapidly growing population in this country, but also the world through two world wars. This efficiency is caused by the limestone content of the soil, 
The topsoil is thin, and the roots of the blue stem grass readily tap the lime and absorb it. There are at least five ledges of limestone between the levels of the valleys and the tops of the plateaus. Ranchers who know the area say weathered lime rock is spread over all the slopes below each outcrop by every shower of rain. The supply of lime at the grassroots is being constantly renewed and maintained at the maximum. The lime and flintstone is so shallow beneath the topsoil that it is totally unsuitable for cultivation. This buffalo grass is appropriately named in that it was not only the staple that allowed the buffalo to reign here for centuries unchallenged, but it's as durable as its namesake. During drought, it lies dormant and is almost instantly revitalized by traces of moisture. Moderate rainfall will allow the blue stem grass to grow belly deep to a horse. Rolla Clymer wrote this about the Flint Hills. By their own majesty, the hills reveal the puny stature of man and the futility of his own exertions. But even more eloquent was this bit of prosaic writing of John Ingalls when inspired by these prairies. Grass is the forgiveness of nature, her constant benediction. Fields trampled from battle, saturated with blood, torn with the ruts of cannons, grow green again with grass, and carnage is forgotten. It bears no blazonry of blooms to charm the senses with its fragrance or splendor, but its homely hue is more enchanting than the lily or the rose. It yields no fruit in earth or air, and yet should its harvest fail for a single year, famine would depopulate the world. Today, the Great Plains is the most prolific food-producing area in the world. Almost two-thirds of this country's 100 million head of beef cattle live and thrive here. Portions of it are suitable for cultivation and produce the abundance of wheat, corn, and soybeans that has allowed Americans a standard of living second to none other in the world. To the farmers and ranchers who own this land, it is sacred. It is the source of their livelihood, their total existence. That which grows upon it is also sacred and is cared for with an intensity that cannot be understood by those who do not live upon nor care for the land. Simply phrased, it is called husbandry, those who care. This lack of understanding is the cause of the war that is being waged here today, the ownership of the planes and the uses to which it will be put. This is not the only battleground. Other areas under siege include virtually all the western states. The conquerors of previous wars, the homesteaders and ranchers, are now the defenders. They are fighting nobly to fend off those who would see all farm and ranch land become national parks and preserves. Preservationists yearn to recreate the past so that they and future generations can visit occasionally and try to imagine how things were in days gone by. Their objectives are simple, make private lands public and public lands inaccessible. Their methods are obtuse, petition to have the lands in question declared natural habitats for endangered species. Or if they fail pursuing this venue, then environmental questions and concerns are raised. The fact is, the more people there are, the less environment there is. The more people there are, the less land there is for them to live on, less clean air to breathe, less water to drink, less food to eat, less everything. Yes, less everything, including available land to produce food on. It is unconscionable, possibly even criminal, to espouse the philosophy that undeveloped land should be taken out of food production. These concepts are being put forward to a citizenry which is just beginning to understand the simple premise that every person has a responsibility for the welfare of this planet. The overwhelming majority of the country's population, some 98.5% of it, is incapable of basic survival. Basic survival is defined as being able to provide food, shelter, and clothing for oneself and one's family. Yet being the majority, their will is imminent. They are the public, those folks in whose name things are done, as in when done in the public interest. The public doesn't have a lot of experience and background in knowing how best to manage a few hundred million acres of farm and ranch land. 
The public has, however, expressed a very high level of competency in consuming the basics needed for survival without ever having to turn a hand to produce them. On the other hand, the public is very effective in voicing its opinions on any given matter. For example, in the early 1800s, when the Eastern citizenry began to feel crowded, it began to pursue its manifest destiny in the West. As we have noted, in between the Eastern populace and their objective in the West lie an entire other society. However, in the public interest, this other society was literally legislated and then blown and starved into oblivion. The objective was simple, remove the Indian obstruction to Western migration. The methods were simple, make the Indian subservient to the white man's good by destroying his source of survival and simultaneously extinguishing all his legal title to the lands in question. Yes, if we would only listen, the past would teach us about tomorrow. We would learn that those who own the land care for it best. We would learn that there is an extraordinarily high price to pay for forcing change to the natural order. We would also learn that extinction is evolutionary, that in order for the new to evolve, the old must cease to exist. There's simply not enough room for both. This makes the long-term prospects for a successful preservationist philosophy highly unlikely. However, the short-term prospects are terrifying, for each attempt puts every American one day closer to starvation. It not only can happen, it has happened as a result of public policy. Unfortunately, public policy is an inanimate object. It is at best a momentary whim of the majority of the populace, which has a history of reversing itself all too quickly. Public policy is not a responsible being. It cannot care for the land. It cannot even care for the public. The management of the land is a generations long proposition. We must understand that today's farmers and ranchers are the Indians of yesterday. There's no one better suited to care for the land. If public policy drives the farmer from the land this time, there will be no turning back. As we know, the plains were once covered with buffalo. Public policy drove the buffalo from the face of the earth, and the Indian followed them. If public policy drives the farmers and ranchers from the face of the earth, humanity will have no choice but to follow them. These, my friends, are the lessons of the buffalo. The Superior Livestock 2022 Summer Sales Series continues with the 34th Annual Week in the Rockies, July 11th through the 15th at the famous Little America Hotel in Cheyenne, Wyoming. This is your opportunity to trade the most sought-after calves out of the top northern genetics and raised on the finest ranches in the north central region. For consignment or buyer registration information, click on superiorlivestock.com or call 800-422-2117. And we'll see you in Cheyenne. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us honor our flag and country with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Throw the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs burst 
That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Good morning and welcome to Superior Livestock's weekly auction for July 7, 2022. We have six lots to offer this morning, 520 head. At 11 a.m. Central Daylight Savings Time, we'll have our monthly Holstein Steer and Dairy Auction. 16 lots have been consigned for a total of 2,040 head. Looking ahead to next week's Week in the Rockies in Cheyenne, Wyoming, over 200,000 head of cattle will be offered in this big five-day auction. Auction time is 8 a.m. Mountain Time each day following the Superior Sunrise. For more information or if you'd like to register as a buyer, you can call us at 800-422-2117. Now let's get right to today's weekly auction and look at the first lot. That would be lot N445 by Dustin Gilmore, Troy, Texas. 80 feet of heifers with a base weight of 625. They will deliver July 12th to 20. On that day of delivery, we're going to haul them five miles, weigh them on the truck with a two, and the slide will be 10 cents and your rep is Stuart Wharton. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your auctioneer, world champion auctioneer, Charlie Cummins. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Clyde Whittle and friends and family of Spare Livestock. And take a look here, Dustin's good cattle. Here, 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 down, 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 Two, three, and a number and three, and a number and pump, and a number and fifty four, and a number and five, and a number and thing. You have fifty four, five, and a number and 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 six here, and a number and five, and a number and six here. Hundred and fifty five, and a number and six on them, seven, and a number and 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 seven, and when they'll weigh on the truck with a two, two-way, eight-cent slide, weight stop 775, vac pre-con, and tested PI free. Charlie? No, I'm here now and now and now and now and first time seller and now and now and now and now and here I'm here now and now and now and forty here now and now and now and now and now and forty one now and now and now and now and now and now and forty one of the bill I'm for a little bit and here today and upon now and now and here and three now and now and here and now 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 and
And thank you, 5H Ranch, and welcome to the Superior Family. Here's N447 by Paul Mayer of Guyman, Oklahoma. 60 feet of heifers from the base weight of 950. They deliver July 8th to 15. On that day, we're going to weigh them on the truck with a two eight cent slot. Charlie? I'm by here, nine hundred and 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 nine hundred
Oh, I'm buying here. Dun, 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 dun. Base weight change on them. Get them heifers at 15 back. Here we go. There. Dun, 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 Pretty good way up on them now. Look at the kind. Hundred days plus on wean. Thank you, Puzzlewood. In 450 by Carol Stone, Zoffel Springs, Florida. 98 steers and heifers, steers of 500. Heifers 480 with heifers selling $15 back. They go July 11th through 22nd. On that div delivery, weigh a monogram with a one, two-way 12-cent slide, weight stops in place, and they are natural plus. Charlie? I'm here and I'm going to bet them 174. How's the sound? I'm going to bet them 5. I'm going to bet them 74. I'm going to bet them 5. I'm going to bet them brand new seller. Welcome to the Spear family. I'm going to bet them 4. I'm going to bet them 5. I'm going to bet them. Look at the kind. You got a big sort and a big trim on them. I'm going to bet them 4. I'm going to bet them 5. And now 5. I'm going to bet them 4. I'm going to bet them 4. I'm going to bet them 5. 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 I'm going to bet and sired and a bit in five, one hundred and seventy fold, a bit in hand, and a bit of what about a five, digging, 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 dig
on a two-way 10-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 34 plus, and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norrell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 heifer calves based at 575, home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, and verified natural. This slot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, VAC 24, NHTC, verified natural. This slot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Show the world that you ranch the superior way with apparel, hats, and other merchandise from the Superior Online Store. Whether you're looking for a gift or something for yourself, the only place to find official Superior Livestock branded apparel is at SuperiorLivestockStore.com. The online store features name brands such as Port Authority, Click, and Dry Duck. Hats, jackets, shirts, vests, gloves, coolers, and much more are just a click away. Order today. Lot C710 consigned by the Hume Ranch. 50 steer calves based at 575, 40 heifer calves based at 540. Heifers will sell $12 back. Their home raised right there in Craig, Colorado, coming to you October 20th through November the 5th. On a two way 12 cent slide with the weight stop, back 34 plus. Represented by Justin Warren. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903. 903- 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C736 consigned by the Work Creek Cattle Ranch, 110 steer calves based at 530, home raised in Reed Point, Montana, coming to you October 30th through November the 9th. On a two-way 15-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24 and natural plus. Represented by Howard Hawks. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C775 consigned by LaValle Ranch. 160 steer calves based at six and a quarter. Home raised in Carbondale, Colorado, coming to you October 1st through the 10th. On a two-way 10-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 34 plus, and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norrell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 heifer calves based at 575, home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903 
390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. The Superior Country Page is your 24-7 marketplace for buying and selling load lock calves, feeders, breeding stock, and other cattle. Cattle ranchers like the Country Page because it's easy to use, and they get the jump on current market conditions by putting cattle in front of buyers right now. Cattle are ready for sale in minutes so buyers can start bidding. Call or log on today to find out how the Superior Country Page can work for you. Lot C710 consigned by the Hume Ranch. 50 steer calves based at 575, 40 heifer calves based at 540. Heifers will sell $12 back. They're home raised right there in Craig, Colorado, come into October 20th through November the 5th. On a two way 12 cent slide with the weight stop, back 34 plus. Represented by Justin Warren. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903. 903- 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C736 consigned by the Work Creek Cattle Ranch. 110 steer calves based at 530. Home raised in Reed Point, Montana coming to you October 30th through November the 9th. On a two-way 15 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop. Back 24 and natural plus. Represented by Howard Hawks. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C775 consigned by LaValley Ranch. 160 steer calves based at six and a quarter. Home raised in Carbondale, Colorado, coming to October 1st through the 10th. On a two-way 10-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 34-plus, and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norrell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch. 100 heifer calves based at 575. Home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two way 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 24 NHTC and verified natural. This slot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580 0457. Lot C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch. 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two way 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 24 NHTC verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Superior VAC protocols and value-added programs build confidence with cattle buyers. Superior's vaccination protocols are the benchmark for America's beef industry. Those along with Superior Progressive Genetics, third-party verified Superior Source and Age, Verified Natural, NHTC, GAP, Beef Care, and other Superior value-added programs give buyers the confidence to pay premiums for quality load-lock cattle you sell on Superior. Call or go online to find out more. Lot C710 consigned by the Hume Ranch. 50 steer calves based at 575, 40 heifer calves based at 540. Heifers will sell $12 back. They're home raised right there in Craig, Colorado, coming to you October 20th through November the 5th. On a two way 12 cent slide with the weight stop, back 34 plus. Represented by Justin Warren. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903. 903- 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot 
Lot C736, consigned by the Work Creek Cattle Ranch, 110 steer calves based at 530, home raised in Reed Point, Montana, coming to you October 30th through November the 9th. On a two-way 15-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, and natural plus. Represented by Howard Hawks. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C775, consigned by LaValle Ranch, 160 steer calves based at six and a quarter, home raised in Carbondale, Colorado, coming to October 1st through the 10th. On a two-way 10-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 34 plus, and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norrell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch. 100 heifer calves based at 575. Home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24 NHTC and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, VAC 24, NHTC, verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Take control of current market conditions on Superior Livestock's weekly video auction. Register your load lot cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday, putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Superior Livestock's weekly video auction has over 8,000 active and qualified buyers, and they're paying top dollar. Jump in. The bidding is hot. Call or click superiorlivestock.com to learn more. Lot C710 consigned by the Hume Ranch. 50 steer calves based at 575, 40 heifer calves based at 540. Heifers will sell $12 back. Their home raised right there in Craig, Colorado, coming to you October 20th through November the 5th. On a two way 12 cent slide with the weight stop, back 34 plus. Represented by Justin Warren. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903. 903- 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C736 consigned by the Work Creek Cattle Ranch. 110 steer calves based at 530. Home raised in Reed Point, Montana coming to you October 30th through November the 9th. On a two-way 15-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24 and natural plus. Represented by Howard Hawks. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C775 consigned by LaValle Ranch. 160 steer calves based at six and a quarter. Home raised in Carbondale, Colorado, coming to you October 1st through the 10th. On a two-way 10-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 34 plus, and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norrell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 heifer calves based at 575, home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, and verified natural. 
This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way, 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, VAC 24, NHTC, verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Superior Livestock Auction now offers a monthly Holstein steer and dairy video auction. With the largest number of registered and active buyers in the nation, Superior Livestock Auction is your source for lightweight dairy-influenced calves. Sellers enjoy proven price discovery that pays top dollar. Buyers get access to high volume and steady supply. And everyone appreciates Superior's trusted experience in national livestock marketing. Go online at superiorlivestock.com to register and to find out more. In 1994, Superior Livestock Auction introduced nationally recognized value-added programs to the American beef industry. Now, cattle sold on Superior Livestock video auctions get top dollar when a program is behind them. The USDA-approved third-party audited Superior Verified Program verifies source and age of your calves. Superior Progressive Genetics identifies load lots of cattle sold on Superior that are sired by top genetics. NHTC verifies the source, age, and non-hormone treatment status of your calves. These and other Superior value-added programs are just another way that Superior Livestock is improving the beef industry and bringing more dollars to your bottom line. Individual programs start at just $1.22 per hundredweight. So you can't make any money any faster than investing $3 and getting $40, $60, $70 back. Call or go online to find out more about Superior Livestock's value-added programs. Superior Livestock Auction connects producers to buyers across the U.S. through the largest cattle merchandising network in North America. They're seen by probably pretty much every person buying cattle in the U.S. They pretty much establish the price. Our customers have a way to purchase bulls without having to physically be at the sale. Because our sale is the second Saturday in February, you never know what the weather might be in the Texas Panhandle. In 2017, we sold nearly 1.5 million head for top dollar. When you watch the Superior sell, it seems like that they do bring a, bring a premium. We are several hundred thousand dollars ahead of where we would be if we didn't have Superior. They have done such an extraordinary job in helping us market our program throughout the United States. Your paycheck is Superior's number one priority, which is why more producers trust Superior. Call us or go online to learn how to sell your cattle the Superior way. Coming up. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. They really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. Hear the story of how Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. In 1987, visionary cattlemen Jim Odell and Buddy Jeffers launched Superior Livestock Auction and forever changed the way cattle are marketed. Over three decades later, Superior is North America's leader in cattle marketing. Innovation is at the heart of the Superior story, but relationships drive it. And as a generation at Superior continues to move the business forward, the next generation is already raising the leadership bar higher. When Superior started, they came to the industry with a new, a new toy. And it was, this, it was this new technology and they were cutting edge and I think everybody knew it would work. It was just whether it was, is this gonna be the new way or is this gonna be a gimmick? We've been working with these guys 40 years. 
from when they first started. I met them in Brush, and they had this idea, it became superior. It was December 15th of 1982. I had my own production studio in Amarillo, doing mainly TV production, industrial presentations. And a good friend of mine walked into my office uh, with uh, Buddy Jeffers and John Templer, who owned Amarillo Livestock. And they were looking at putting a video auction together. And they had a videotape from uh, a man that shot the video from Channel 7. And they were gonna look at it on, on my TV monitors to see if they could tell enough of the cattle where they could sell it. And so they looked at it and they said, you know what, I think this will work. Jim Odell came right here and they were just starting Superior, him and Buddy Jeffers. And we had a meeting right here in this big house. And we signed up, that was the first year we'd sold them on Superior, I think. I think 32 years we've been selling them. What the video allowed was to open up to a market, a nationwide market, where you had several people bidding on your cattle, rather than just taking them to the sale barn or getting that one bid from that one or maybe two order buyers. We achieve true price discovery because it's a competitive format. There's bidders from all over the country bidding on your cattle, and it's not just one person saying, hey, I'll offer you this, or this is my best offer. It's people competing against each other I like to think of it as, I'm going to take my cattle to the market and I'm going to let these people argue how much they're going to pay me for it. And you can actually get what the market is, what is fair value at this location, at this exact point in time. It's price discovery at its best. I know what a Florida cow and Louisiana cow is worth today when we got through because I just saw 107 loads of Florida cow and 120 loads of Louisiana cow sale, so I know what one's worth. Uh, another feature of, of what I like so much about Superior, you know, it, in so many transactions, uh, there's one party that wins and one party that gets shorted. And uh, I've always been a believer that for it to work long term, that everyone has to win. And we see buyers getting what they want, sellers are happy, buyers are happy, and really everyone wins. The goal of the auction is to sell the cattle to the highest bidder who will make the best use of the cattle which maximizes the value for both buyer and seller. Superior has the responsibility for the seller, but also after the cattle are sold at auction to the buyer too, to make sure that those cattle fit the contract and how we sold them at the auction. Superior always contacts you uh, uh, a day after delivery to make sure you've got the cattle. If there's anything wrong, uh, and we have had, as I say, in past, some deals that weren't uh, quite what they were to be, we were always satisfactorily taken care of. Uh, they stand behind their project and what they do. Twenty thirteen, uh, we were on the market. There were several companies looking to purchase Superior. We were very fortunate to have National Livestock Credit Corp buy Superior. In the past, there's always been one or two owners, and that's not the case anymore. We actually put together a group of owners. So now there's actually an investment partnership that we have multiple owners. So it's a, it's a company that owns Superior now with multiple owners that put money into it. One of the really nice things about uh, the national team that, that was brought in in 2013 is, is a staff of professionals that take some of the pressure off of uh, the accounting functions, the legal functions. Uh, some of the the day-to-day -day, uh, corporate side of things uh, to allow the uh, dedicated professionals at Superior put that focus back on what they need to be doing rather than taking care of the details. National's leadership in the cattle industry is cutting edge. They gave us the resources that we need to stay competitive in the future and stay ahead of our competitors. The credit corporation actually is a very unique kind of company that got set up back in the 30s. You don't see them very, very often anymore. Our motto is for ranchers by ranchers because almost every single one of our loan officers run cattle at home. The idea of taking a company that's been around for 90 years now and stacking Superior on top of that gives it a great foundation of we have consistency, we have proven consistency over 90 years. Superior's been around for 30 now it's going to continue to move and grow. The other thing to tell a producer is sometimes bids and buyers overreach and the market changes and 
being able to rely on in, on that contract is important because there there's other entities that might not be able to honor a large contract. One of the things that's really important to consigners and we hear it year in and year out is knowing that they're getting a good check. We are very pleased to add another level of security in that to already time-tested and proven method. The superior name has such a reputation for the money always being there. And so we still really strive to make sure that that's going to be the case. Above all, the money is good, and the money is in, the cus in those consignors' hands the second the cattle's picked up. Up next. It really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. We'll take a closer look at the innovation that helped make Superior the leader in livestock marketing. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Over the past three decades, Superior Livestock Auction changed the way cattle are marketed and their innovations have helped to improve not only their customers' bottom line, they've advanced the entire beef cattle industry. One of the things that we're committed to here at Superior Livestock is, uh, is serving our core base of our business in the best way possible. And that core base uh, of what we do is, is selling calves and feeder cattle. However, in doing that, we are involved in a lot of things that contribute to each other. Here at Superior Livestock, we talk about full circle marketing, and it really relates to the fact that we tie all the different facets of the industry together, from the commercial cattlemen to the seed stock producers to the industry partner, all working for one common goal. And to use Superior Livestock, you know, a company that's got a vast number of buyers, nationwide, whether it's a stalker operator in the Central Valley of California or, you know, a farmer feeder outside of, you know, Council Bluffs, Iowa or a feedlot in Nebraska. It's unbelievable the resources that that company has put together. They're so well integrated in the, in the industry, whether it be the, the American Rancher or the purebred that, the work that gets done at Superior Productions with Joe Lichty and Jason Barber. And, Superior Livestock's always offered cattle that have good genetics behind them, but I believe that Superior's resources and investment in resources on the purebred side has really bolstered that. The ability that it's given us to identify those cattle when they sell and the genetics and where they've bought the bulls, I think has really tied the industries together full circle. The cattle have good genetics, they end up performing year after year, and that's kind of what makes our buyers come back. We started a summer auction event in the summer of 1989. Uh, the first year we went to Breckenridge and uh, it was a customer appreciation event and rep training and that's all it was. And uh, Jim Odell at the time, you know, he said, we're going to do this again next year, but we better have an auction to help pay for all this stuff. Really it was the beginning of, of, of what became the summer video sales. Weekend in the Rockies, which became weak in the Rockies, and then we started adding, you know, Winnemucca was the next one, uh, Video Royale, and then uh, Bighorn and Sheridan, Wyoming. I mean, we moved around Wyoming a few times, uh, Casper and some other places, but we landed in Sheridan. We sell the majority of the, the calves on, on those big auctions. 750,000 calves will, will go to auction at that time. It's a great time to do it. We can. Um, get together with our customers and, and, and the buyers that come. Those summer sales are just nobody can compete with them, the amount of buyer base that they have for that. Well, at the sales, there's a certain camaraderie amongst the reps, but uh, the fun is seeing the ranchers, and it's really fun when the buyers show up, and then you can the buyers can meet the ranchers, and everybody finds out what the other guy is doing. You know, one rancher watches what his neighbor does, and. And it just, it, they build on each other and they can see how that maybe they can make, add value to their cattle by doing what the neighbor's doing. Everybody's familiar with the, the Superior video auction that happens every two weeks and then the big summer sales. So uh, what, what a lot of people don't know is there's an auction every Thursday and it's on Dish Network. It's on click to bid broadcast on the internet, uh, along with a lot of production sales 
We own a company called LiveAuctions.tv and a lot of purebred cattle are sold through that. If the live auction is, is not for you, the country page is a great way to sell cattle. Uh, you can list them and, and people bid on them until they negotiate a price that everybody's happy with. And then if, if that doesn't work, if you just want to say, hey, I want to sell my cattle today, and you call your rep and you say, hey, I got a buyer for them, we'll do a private treaty deal. Our job is to merchandise cattle. Commodity cattle, if they're uh, calves right off the cow, if they're program cattle, there are multiple buyers for each of those sets. We talk a lot about program cattle. Okay, you know, the NHTC, Verified Natural, GAP program. The VAC programs were the first of the value-added programs. Uh, so VAC 24, VAC 34, VAC 45, uh, VAC Precon. What that did was it established a, a way for, for us to tell the buyers that the cattle would be healthy when they received them. You know, these other programs have come along because there was a need for them. So Agent Source, we need a third party verification to, to show these cattle were not over 30 months of age or we could not export them to uh, Japan or anywhere else because they required it. So what Superior did was just recognize what the ranchers were doing, what the market needed, what the market was asking us to do. And so what we did was we, we analyzed the data after a year, we'd have, you know, a group analyze the data and say, okay, these are the programs that create value. I think it makes more difference to the buyers. If, if they know the cattle are handled correctly, the shots are done correctly, the winning's done correctly, the shifting's done in, in an orderly fashion, you know, they take care of the calves, that's a big deal. The one thing that, that the video market in Superior has done is they've, they've really changed not only the way that people market their cattle, but they changed the cattle that they market. Superior has evolved the protocol to where it's a whole different deal. Live from Superior Livestock Auction, it's another Superior Sunrise. Superior Sunrise is another great marketing tool we have here at Superior Livestock. It's our 30-minute live television show that airs prior to each one of our commercial auctions. It's an opportunity to talk about the market, preview what we have on the auction, visit with our industry partners, our superior livestock representatives, and also highlight our producers. It's a great way to start each auction. We have American Rancher that actually goes out and highlights, not just says, hey, yeah, superior sells cattle, but hey, look at this ranch. I love the stories where it's, you know, grandma and grandpa scraped together and barely made the farm, and now they've turned this into a huge operation that they can set up the next three or four generations of people to run the cattle in that family. At any cell barn, you're limited to the number of people that you could cram into that little bitty building. And that's the way it was originally. And so what Superior was actually letting this, these markets do is it doesn't matter how big your room is, it matters who has access. Instead of how many people can you fit in this 200 people cell barn, and that would be a big one even at that, it's how many people have the internet because that's how many people can watch the sale. Anybody who has the internet is now sitting in our cell barn. Part of leadership is not being satisfied with where you're at. We're developing new things to, to make sure we're on the cutting edge. We're trying to cut out all the unnecessary steps to, to become a better company and to get your uh, cattle to market faster. Technology is going to change. Uh, we, we've seen it already. We went from the big satellite dishes and big camera, TV cameras to using iPhones and internet. And we're writing software right now that that uh, streamlines the contract entry so we don't have to fax. In the past, our reps would, and they would turn in a contract and they wouldn't have any access to that contract until uh, their proofs came out, which would be a couple days after the deadline. Uh, now they've got the ability to go in, manage their own consignments anytime they want, request changes to those consignments during off business hours, so in the evenings, at night, early in the morning. They don't have to wait for us to be in the office to get assistance. What's the most useful part is that this catalog is a really uh, good example of what the proof, is, what it looks like in the printed catalog with all the icons. And the extra benefit we added here uh, at the bottom is really for the reps is to show any affidavits or certificates that are missing. One of the advances that we've made recently was in 2020, we moved into 
a new building here in uh, Hudson Oaks, Texas, and we moved from the stockyards uh, in Fort Worth out to this building custom made for what we do. It's a big part of the future and how we're going to serve our customers, our reps. We have recently uh, added a, a new Western presence with an uh, office in Boise, Idaho to even better service our reps and our customers in the West. Any way we can bring buyers and sellers together as part of the price discovery process. We have more tools in our belt than anybody else. So you string all these things together and then you bring in some of the leadership that we've gotten from National and, the, and just the experience of the industry and you put all these things together. There's not another company that has what we have. After the break. It's an absolute blessing to be able to do what we do for a living with the kind of people we're able to do it with. Innovation takes a back seat only to the most important element of superior livestock. That story is next on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Superior Livestock Auctions leadership in cattle marketing has changed the industry. And while innovation is at the heart of the superior story, nothing is more important than trust and close relationships. It's a people business where we're selling cattle from people to people, enhanced with technology, kind of like salt and pepper on a steak. And the key to success that we've talked about is the public auction and bringing the buyer base and price discovery, uh, a nationwide buyer base to your cattle. But uh, the, the other part of the key to that success is that we're local and we are as local as your local rep, which is right down the road from you. Most of my customers are within 150 miles of where I work and live, and a lot of these people are people that I help, you know, throughout the year brand their calves and wean their calves. And so, you know, I'm essentially working for, for my neighbors and my friends and family. You build these relationships with your customers. It's more than just uh, selling their cattle for them. Uh, you're working for their yearly income in most cases. Very humbling at that time that you realize how much work they've put into those cattle. You know, they're out there in those March blizzards pulling those calves and saving them, uh, doctoring those little babies. Uh, you know, it's just what it is that's, you know, they work really, really hard for a straight year and then they put them on Superior and what they get is, you know, gonna affect how they live the rest of the year. You get to really think about the folks on the other end that are getting cattle and both of them are making their living at a cattle business. And what you do affects them and it kind of makes you want to go out and kind of do the best job you can. Well, I think you definitely uh, gain a personal relationship with your customers. You know most of your customers become your friends, um, but it puts them on such a national scale with so many registered buyers that Superior has. The, the people that I've met, uh, the ranchers and their families and the buyers that I've met, they become your friends. Truly, truly friends. And then Superior, they talk about the Superior family and that's what they've been to us. We feel blessed to be part of that family. I'm uh, surrounded by, by reps that are really passionate about improving the bottom line for their customers. And they do a stand-up job. And there's a lot of honor involved. There's a lot of integrity. And I really don't know too many other industries in the United States of America or the world, that matter, that upholds that much integrity. When you shake somebody's hand, it doesn't matter if it's a $10,000 transaction or a, a million-dollar transaction. They're going to do exactly what they say they're gonna do. With the success of Superior Livestock Auction over the past three decades comes the reality that a new generation will someday take the reins. Just like the ranching families they serve, Superior has been planning that for years and the future is in good hands. There's tons of young, younger people coming up, um, reps, employees. It's just cool to see, see the growth of it. It has really shown me just what generation after generation can improve on. I feel very, very fortunate uh, that, that I had picked Superior to work with. I was surrounded by great reps, veterans in our marketing industry that had got on board at the inception of it. I think the future of Superior is really bright. One thing that was definitely put at rest when National purchased Superior is that it won't be sold again. Uh, it's owned by a group of cattlemen and a lot of reps are also investors in our company. So uh, the same people that are out here selling, selling cattle for our customers are the ones that have a share in some equity in this company. 
Superior is a team, you know, it starts with the representatives out in the field, and it's the people in the office here, in the office in Oklahoma City, in Brush, in Boise, that all work together. And there's a lot of, a lot of things behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. Uh, the video editors, uh, the software developers, the IT director, Kevin, and systems administrator Chance, and, and they go out on the road during the summer and they put everything together. The auction crew, uh, you know, the auctioneers. We all work together for one goal, and that's to sell the cattle for as high as we can. To take care of that rancher, it's his only paycheck for the year. You know, the foundation of trust that's been built, we're continually working on. And the next generation of the Superior Livestock family is going to continue to innovate and uh, be, be a part of the cutting edge of how livestock get marketed. So uh, as, as you have trusted us in the past to build the foundation and the relationship that we have, we certainly hope that you'll trust us in the future to, to continue that innovation. If you're not a part of the Superior family yet, please give us a call. At Superior, we truly are a nationwide market, from border to border and from coast to coast. But you know what? At Superior Livestock, we're not out to market all the cattle in North America, just yours. We hope you enjoyed the look back and ahead here at Superior Livestock Auction. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Lot C710 consigned by the Hume Ranch. 50 steer calves based at 575. 40 heifer calves based at 540. Heifers will sell $12 back. Their home raised right there in Craig, Colorado, coming to you October 20th through November the 5th. On a two way 12 cent slide with the weight stop, back 34 plus. Represented by Justin Warren. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903 390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C736 consigned by the Work Creek Cattle Ranch, 110 steer calves based at 530, home raised in Reed Point, Montana, coming to you October 30th through November the 9th. On a two-way 15-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24 and natural plus. Represented by Howard Hawks. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. Lot C775 consigned by LaValle Ranch. 160 steer calves based at six and a quarter. Home raised in Carbondale, Colorado, coming to you October 1st through the 10th. On a two-way 10 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 34 plus and certified natural plus. Represented by Clay Norell. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C791 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 heifer calves based at 575, home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two-way 12-cent slide with a 25-pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, and verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903-390-6183 or CJ at 719-580-0457. C792 consigned by the Valdez Ranch, 100 steer calves based at 600. They're home raised in Coal Strip, Montana, coming to you October 15th through the 30th. On a two way 12 cent slide with a 25 pound weight stop, back 24, NHTC, verified natural. This lot is currently available on the Superior Country page. For more information, go to www.superiorlivestock.com or call Ty at 903 390 6183 or CJ at 719 580. 0457. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us honor our flag and country with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Welcome to our monthly Holsteins here in Dairy Auction. 16 lots have been consigned this morning for 2,040 head. Looking ahead to next week's week in the Rockies in Cheyenne, Wyoming, over 200,000 200, head of cattle will be offered in this big five-day auction, July 11 through 15. More information, you can call us at 800-422-2117. Let's get right to the Holsteins. This is lot number N455 by Syracuse Dairy. At Syracuse, Kansas, 130 Holstein steers to 350. That's the A lot. Buyer in the A lot has the option on the B. They go July 8th through August 8th. On the superior right slide, they're VAC Precon, BQA certified, NHTC approved. And again, buyer of the A lot has the option on the B lot. And here's world champion auctioneer, Charlie Cummins. Thank you so much, Clyde Whittle. Here we go, Syracuse Dairy. Sure appreciate them. Ah, they do a lot with us, saying a good customer. Here we go. And now one. 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 Got the option on the B lot. We'll give him 15 seconds. I'm sure he'll take them both in the A and the B lot. He takes, takes them both. Them takes them both. Let's go to N456. Steer working for the Syracuse Dairy at Syracuse, Kansas. 130 Holstein steers at 350. August 1 to September 1 is your delivery date. Buyer of the A lot has the option on the B and C lot. Charlie? I'm here to buy my three lots here. 
Get a bit seven, sir. I am now seven. Right at the end. Get a bit seven. I am six seventy five. You've been a good bidder. I am seventy five. And six seventy five. And now seven. I am seven. I am seven. I am seven. I sold them hundred fifty six seventy five. Thank you both. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Next lot. Got the option on the B and C. Sell the B Take lot, option the on the C lot. Takes just the A. I'm at 148. B and C lots, what we'll have. I'm at 149. Thank you. Now, 50. I'm at 150. I am 49. I'm at 150. I am 49. I'm at 150. I am 50. He takes them both, takes them both. So let's go to lot number N457. N457 A is the lot to buy. Here is Syracuse Dairy's 130 Holstein steers at 350. Now these deliver September 1 to October 1. September October cattle on the right slide. BQA certified, NHTC approved. Buyer's option on the B. Charlie? I'm September, October, now. 
Got the option on the B lot. He takes them both. Takes them both. Let's go to N four fifty eight. Syracuse Dairy's one hundred thirty Holstein shares at three fifty. Now the buyer of the A lot has the option on the B, C, D, and E for a total of five lots. That's five lots. 130 Holstein shares the 350 in each lot. Now these will deliver October 1, November 1. Charlie? I bet here to buy mine and better than a hundred of it and a better than a hundred of it and a hundred and fifty and a better than a hundred one. I am fed out here for the bond and an October, November and a little bit of wintertime feeders and a little bit of 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 a Video over and I'm better than taking a fold of the bill. I'm getting a better than taking a whole of a four. I am three to the year, hung on and I'm better than taking a pump pump on and I'm better than three bid four to buy a man and I'm better than getting a bit and I'm better than four. I am now four and I'm better than getting a bit and what about a four and I'm better than three to bid and I'm better than taking a pump pump on and I'm better than four and four and I'm better than four and sold 153. Next up, got the option on B, C, D, and E. He takes them all, takes them all. Let's go to N459. N459, a lot to buy. This is the AB Ranch's 140 Holstein steers, the 350. These are near Stephenville, Texas. Delivery August 1, September 1. On the Superior Right Slide, back precom, working on N459. Oh, I'm here and I'm better than 140, 42, 3, and I'm better than 2, 3, and I'm better than 3, and I'm Next up. In 460, AB Ranch's 140 Holstein Steers, the 350 near Stephenville, September 1 to October 1. Charlie? I'm at a hundred and forty-two three. I'm at a two hundred and now three. I'm at a hundred and forty-two three. I'm at a dollar forty-two three. I'm at a hundred and forty-two three. I'm at a dollar forty-two three. I'm at a hundred and 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 forty-two three. I'm at
And thank you, A.B. Ranch, N-461 by the Crestview Ridge Farms, 100 Holstein steers with a basement of 500. These are near Ashland, Ohio. They go September 1 through 20 on that day. Weigh them on the truck with a two, eight cent slide. Buyer the A lot has the option on the B lot. Charlie? I'm here here to buy a hundred and forty, forty two, nine and three, hundred forty two to three and three, nine and get it and here, what about three, nine and three and three, nine and two to dab it and here and three and three. Somebody got him there, nine and two to dab it and here and three and three, nine and bed and three. I and now three, nine and in September, hundred and number lightweights, good ones, hundred and thirty two, three, nine and two to dab it and three, one hundred and thirty two, now thirty three, hundred and bed and two to dab it and thirty three, nine and bed and three and four, nine and nine and nine to bed and pump pump hundred and bed and thirty. Hold the bell. I am three to the air and four to and 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 you get the option, my friend. He takes them both, and the next lot's going to be this coming Monday on our July 11th. Weekend, the Rockies coming to you live from Cheyenne, Wyoming. 200,000 head of cattle will be offered on that big five-day sale. If you'd like to register as a buyer or get more information, call us at 800-422-2117. We'll see you next week in Weekend, the Rockies, when buyers and sellers from just about everywhere get together to market their cattle the superior way. You're watching SLA TV. The Superior Livestock 2022 Summer Sales Series continues with the 34th Annual Week in the Rockies, July 11th through the 15th at the famous Little America Hotel in Cheyenne, Wyoming. This is your opportunity to trade the most sought-after calves out of the top northern genetics and raised on the finest ranches in the north central region. For consignment or buyer registration information, click on superiorlivestock.com or call 800-422-2117. And we'll see you in Cheyenne. This ranch here was my wife's family's ranch. They homesteaded here in 1881. I think we're the fourth generation. My boys are gonna be the fifth. And uh, we've combined it with my, my family's place in Summit County, Utah. And so we run both of them in conjunction and same thing with that. We're fourth generation down there, same thing. We're strictly cow-calf now. We used to have a dairy, but we closed it down. Our genetics, traditionally, the, the cattle in this country was mainly Hereford-type cows influence. Early 80s, we started putting the black Angus into these cattle, and predominantly now, most of these herds are all black around here. Have put a little bit of Simitol, Sim Angus in them, but for the most part, we're just straight Black Angus. Here in this Curlew Valley, we're, we're in the desert, so we're pretty short of rainfall here. And so this is kind of an abnormal year here that you would see with our rainfall. We'll never, we'll never cuss the rain if we get it here. 
he spends six months out of the year wintering on the Utah side, six months summering in the Idaho side, and we use a deferred grazing and a rest rotation grazing to order to stockpile our feed in order to secure enough feed for our grazing years. And so very few years that we have to feed hay. But, but we do have to keep a hay supply on hand in case those winters have that come about that we have to pull those cows off. We have a grazing association originally started out as the Curlew Horse and Cattle Association and that pertained it had BLM and Forest Service permittees. In about the early 90s, the BLM broke out of that, so that is strictly run under the Forest Service. Uh, Grasslands Grazing is that association, but the BLM is still running out there and we run that in conjunction. And so all the cow-calf men in this valley, we're, we're all members of that asso original association. We're separate operations, but we run together. Uh, our bulls are selected by us. Uh, we have a bull judging committee. So we, we use uh, the latest genetics that we can buy, purebred bulls, black Angus. And uh, therefore, we're getting a consistent calf that my neighbor's calf is peas in the pod with mine because we run together, we, we trail these calves.